Hi, welcome to Tech Hobbies. We'll create a new file, 1280 pixels wide and 720 pixels high. I'll use a darker Baka background. For the font effect, you can find a download link in the description. Now, I'll pick different foreground and background colors for the font from background. So the font match the overall theme of the image. After that, I'll pick the brush tool. And select the hard or soft brush. Then I'll make custom matchments in the brush setting panel. It can be showed by pressing F5 key. Select brush tip shape. Make size 35 pixels. Hardness 70%. And spacing 100%. Then select shape dynamics. And increase the size jitter to 100%. Now select scattering. And make it 90%. Then go to Color Dynamics. Click Apply Per Tip on. Increase foreground background jitter to 100%. Hue jitter, saturation jitter, and brightness jitter to 15%. And purity to 80%. Now click on Transfer, and increase it to 100%, and select the Wet Edges option on. Our brush for Baka effect is ready now. Now select the Text tool. I'll use the font Comic Sans MS. Make the font size 340 points. Write any text. Then click on the text layer icon while holding the control key to make the selection of the text. Now hide the text layer and make a new empty layer from bottom. Then go to selection menu, modify, and select contract. Contract the selection by 13 pixels. Now the selection should look very thin. Now go to the path panel. Here in the bottom, click on the path button. To convert the selection to path. Now active the path by clicking on it. Make sure that empty layer is selected. Then right click on the path and select stroke path. Now in the menu select brush if it is not. Then click OK. Here we have the Baka text effect. We can make further adjustments to it for more effectiveness, like brightness, colors, and drop shadow, etc. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe Tech Hobbies and leave your thoughts in the comment section below.